want to tackle the identity property of addition and the identity property of multiplication at the same time. Because I think if you see what they have in common, you're going to be like, that's it? And I'll be like, yeah. It's that simple. <laughs> All right, so uh, what the identity properties have in common is they're both about keeping numbers the same. Like if you've got some number and you add zero to it, you still got that same number. That's the identity property of addition. Uh, similarly, if you have some number and you multiply it by one, you still got that same number because that's the identity property of multiplication. That's it. Let me just show you with a quick, quick example. Let's say we have uh, 25. All right, what do you got to add to 25 for it to stay 25? Well, zero, because 25 plus zero is 25. That's the identity property of addition. Let's do the multiplication one. Let's say, all right, we got 25. What do you got to multiply here so for it to stay 25? Well, multiply it by one, because 25 times one is 25. That's the identity property of multiplication. That's how the identity properties work.